this is my 41st Worlds I've been to. And uh, St. John was my 47th Briar. You could say Curly Walls has been doing this a while. The avid curling fan has been trading pins for over 30 years at various curling events around the world. We always used to go to Briars and Worlds and you had your club pin and association pin. And uh, ours was a hat and a cowboy boot. Well, they all chased you for that. So you'd trade a pin for a pin. And that's what gets you going. In that time, Walls has traded countless pins with countless other curling fans. You get a lot of duplicates, but I have 40,000 curling pins. Among his collection are competitor pins from the McDonald Tobacco Briar from 1927 to 1979. Every one except one. The pin from that first Briar in 1927. If he can find that one, he estimates his collection would be worth over $30,000. He's not sure how many are in existence, but it's not many. He did manage to find the pin once, but the seller wanted $2,500 for it. Until he finds that desired pin, Walls continues his winter pastime. You're meeting people year after year that have gone for years, and uh, it's it's just visiting and seeing them all again. The collector doesn't stop at pins either. He has dozens of restored trucks, tractors, and pedal cars, but that's a summertime activity. Right now, it's all about those pins. It's been very interesting and I enjoy it. Something to do. <laughs> Kirby Bourne, 630 Chad.